Hitler and uh, hit uh, the oldest boy. Good. She hit him with the umbrella. Excellent. She hit him with the umbrella. She hit him the umbrella, the oldest boy. As you see a uh, gentleman in the glasses and uh, in the hat, and uh, uh, he in uh, shocked, and uh, he think, ah, oh, I don't see it. The oldest uh, boy hit the old woman, and uh, often say punch for it with a closed fist. Oh, punch! Hit is good, punch. Hit is correct, but punch is even oh, punch. It's even more uh, punch. Yeah. Punch uh, the old woman, and uh, uh, man in the glass. Uh, uh, Glasses. Glasses. As a man in the glasses, uh, think uh, this uh, not uh, good uh, uh, for a young uh, boy it's to do this. Behavior. Yep, excellent. Very bad behavior. Uh, bad behavior. Yeah, and uh, he, I don't know how they say. We when, say smack. Um, this, when it's, especially when it's from the bum, we say he decides to smack. The young boy, uh, smack, the young... Uh, smack in the bum. Yeah, smack, on, smack him on the bum. Exactly, he decides to smack him on the bum. Smack in on the bum. Good. The oldest boy. The younger boys happen now. Now <laughs> the younger oh. boy happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, we see a uh, next uh, man. Uh, and uh, now this is a terrible situation. All uh, people, uh, uh, I don't know how this. Yeah, I don't know how they say uh, "draka" in yeah. Russian. Fight, fight. Yeah, they start fight. fight. Yeah, they start fight. Uh, it start fight. Uh -huh. Yeah, it start fight, and uh, more and more people come uh, for this fight. <laughs> And after this, a uh, very big uh, uh, fight, uh, as a, so, like a street fight, uh, like a football. Uh... <laughs> yeah, like a street fight, uh, a football uh, riot or something like that. You can even call it a riot sometimes, but that is when law and order stops working uh, and. <laughs> Uh, like uh, right and uh, two boys think uh, it's a very strange situation and uh, he won't go home <laughs> and so, uh, this, he's all okay <laughs> they become friends they make friends you can uh, say they make friends as well they make friends in the end they uh i think the situation very often with uh -huh. the pictures yeah and they become, become friends become make friends yeah yeah. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Keep going. That was really, really good. I think the monkey one is a little bit boring. Try this one instead. Try this one. Have you done this before with me? Is it for me? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it new? Yeah. You've got ten minutes still. You've still got five minutes left. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. I see. Uh, I think this parents and uh, his small boy. And uh, parents uh, see in the ah oh, I don't know how this uh, someone uh, in the magazine in the shop uh, the shop window we say shop window the between us. Yes. Uh huh. And so they look here in look here looking in the shop window. This is uh, some interesting heart uh, maybe for the woman and. Uh, Boy, don't interest in this. The boy is this. Yeah, the boy isn't interested. The boy. Uh, boy is the boy isn't interested to uh, the shop window, and uh, he go walk to the street. Uh, the parents uh, very afraid uh, about boy because he go to the. Uh, Street uh, and uh, road, yeah. Car. Yeah, road. We say road. Uh, he go to the road. Yeah, and uh, there are very many cars. Uh, and uh, uh, father run and uh, take and catch. Uh, no, take, take a boy. And grabs the boy. You can say grab. Grab. Like take. Grabs him. 
he grabs the boy. He grabs the boy. Grabs the boy. And uh, after uh, grab the boy, uh, and after mother say uh, the boy, uh, he a uh, bad boy. He don't need to go to the road because it's uh, very, very how it's dangerous. Very dangerous, very dangerous. Yeah, she calls the boy a bad boy. It's very dangerous to walk in the road. They were dangerous to walk in the road, and he take uh, right hand to, and to left hand the boy and go away. Uh, but uh, he looked out. Oh, can you? Uh, I uh, oh, sorry. forgot. Sorry. No. <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> uh, the look at uh, the shop window. Yes, <laughs> again, <laughs> he see in the shop. Window again look, and uh, you see here, they look. Huh? Look is when you when you intend to do it. It's when you want to to look. And so they look in the shop uh -huh. window, not see. See is more like uh, here. Uh huh. He looking in the shop window and uh, boy uh, again walk to the rod and uh, he see a uh, horse uh, and uh, take a uh, horse uh, uh, I He's don't know there again if you want he grabs the horses yeah, grabs the horses he grabs the horses uh, the horse's tail tail is uh, the ah oh, tail the, yeah the, see he grabs the horse's tail and uh, Parents afraid again and again. He take right hand hand boys and uh, go away. <laughs> and uh, again wow. and again and again. Ah, uh, what, what happened this time? Ah, uh, and again uh, he. Uh, how does it say Patiriali? Forgot? Oh, no. He got lost or he, uh, I would say he, he disappeared again. He disappeared. Like his chest. Oh, he, aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Again, uh, the boys disappeared and uh, he thinks this, uh, he jumped to canalization. Uh, yeah, canalization. And... I say sewer system or sewer system. Or drain it. Our system. Or even uh -huh. drain They're the, the sewers. Um, the, the, it's where the rain goes and washes away. Uh huh. Uh huh. He, he parents think uh, boy jump the sewer system and uh, uh, father. Uh, 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 how how is this? <laughs> screamed, shouted, yeah. Scream or shout. Oh, shouted. Uh -huh. Scream, uh, scream, uh, or shouted uh, in the shower system, uh, and uh, after the man who work there, come, <laughs> come, yeah. and, and appeared. You can even use appeared here, like the opposite, disappeared, like uh, appeared. Uh, yeah. Ah, appeared yeah. and uh, shout to the parents. <laughs> shouted at the parents, very good, but we always say at for shouted at the parents. Same with scream. Uh, shout uh, at uh, parents uh, and uh, a boy walk uh, to another territory. Yeah, he was in a different place. Parents. The little boy wasn't in, in the whole place. And by the way, something like that, we do usually say a hole. Um, if you don't want to say a sewer system, just like Dirka or Yama or something like that. A hole. Oh, this uh, one. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. A hole. Uh-huh. He, uh -huh. he hadn't fallen down the hole. He was okay. He wasn't in the hole in the end. The little boy. Okay, fantastic. That was really good, Irina. Really good start. Oh, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good to see you today. I will see you probably next week, I imagine. But uh, let's move on okay. now. Yung Donggi, I think. It's, is it Yung Donggi? Do I say your name, Yung what? Um, my name is Zhong Donghi. Zhong Donghi, okay, fantastic. And it's your first time here today. Where are you, Jung? Where are you? I'm, I'm from Korea. I'm okay. in Korea now. Fantastic, you're in Korea. Fantastic. Yeah. 
So we usually choose a picture here. I think uh, you can do the next picture if you're ready to do this picture. Yeah. Or if you've chosen one, you can you can tell me what number it is, and we'll go to a different mm -hmm. one. Do you yeah, want anything is good. Excellent, excellent. Let's try this one then. So what can okay, you? Okay. The girl is mad at messy room. Good. Excellent. So what does she okay. decide to do? And she's decided to clean the room. Okay. Can you hear me okay? So I just realized my mouth microphone's down here. She decides to clean the room. Very good. Okay, so what does she do next? She she <clears throat> she take the garb take the garbage and throw oh. it away to the, the garbage can. Excellent. Yeah, she throws the rubbish away. She puts it in the garbage can. Excellent. Very good start. What's she doing yeah. in this picture? She is um, cleaning the floor of the room using water. Excellent, excellent. You can some. We often say mop when it's with a water. Oh, yeah. With water, it doesn't look like a mop because the mop it looks like a a, a brush to me, and a mop mm. looks a bit different. But um, when you use a bucket of water and clean the kitchen floor, very often it's mop. Okay. Mm. What happens next? I I think boy is seeing that his toys is in the garbage can. Very good. But we don't say the boy is seeing. We say the boy sees. And it's uh, just because okay. see is a stative verb. Yes, see is a mm. stative verb. And that means uh, you don't use it in continuous tense. You can use okay. see sometimes in continuous, but it's when see means meet. You can say, I am mm. seeing my friend after work, or I am seeing Max on Tuesday, something like that. But you can't use see when it means look in the continuous tense. Okay. Mm. I, I understand. Fantastic. Fantastic. Keep going, Jung. Doing great. So, therefore, Boy is picking up his toys from the garbage can. Good. He's picking up his toys. He's, he's taking them out yeah. of the garbage can. Yeah, take something out of uh, say. Yeah, he's taking okay. it out of the garbage can. But he's struggling to find his toy from the many things. Good, good. His favorite toy. <laughs> good. Okay, what do they do with the toys? But I think boy loved all of the things, so ju they just take it away, take it again. So they take them back, yeah, to the place yeah. where they were. Yeah, take something back. And what do you think mum th thinks when she sees it? Um, <laughs> mum is really angry or something surprised. Good, because... angry and surprised, good. Yeah. Yeah, because they've taken the toys back. Yeah, because they've taken yeah. all the toys back to the same room. Fantastic. Keep going. There's a very different story now. This one's called ice cream. Yeah. What can mm. you see in this picture? There are many buyers to buy the buy the ice cream in okay, front yeah. of the ice cream shop. Good, good. There are many people waiting to buy an ice cream. You can say yeah. buyers. You can. We do sometimes. <laughs> where I came from, we do sometimes say buyers, especially with houses. I think we often say buyers when we're talking mm. about someone who's buying a house. Um, but you, I think here we would just say customers. Yeah, maybe customers. Oh. There are many customers waiting to buy an ice cream. Very good. Keep going. Where do you think they are? Um. The boy is buying three ice cream. Uh, the boy bought three ice ice creams and the boy is taking them to their parent, uh, his parents. Try to put put it all into past. He bought the ice creams. He took them. Yeah. To, uh, uh, I, I would do it all in past or all in present. You can do yeah. either. Yeah, they're both good. But he bought the ice creams. He took them to the parents. Good. Yeah. Very good. Yes. But there is 
many people on the way to their on the way to his parents. So boy you say there is, is or there are many people. There is or there are. There are, are many people. Good, 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 good. Excellent. There are many people on the way. Very good. Yeah, on the way to his parents. So good. he yes. And but the weather is so hot, so he his ice creams are all all melt down. They're all melting. They're all Earth. melting. Just melting for this one. The ice creams are all melting. Yeah, we wouldn't say melt down, but, but melting yeah. definitely. His ice creams are melting. Yes. You can also say his ice creams were dripping on people. Yeah, dripping, like drip, drip, drip. Good. And um, he, uh, the ice cream, uh, ice cream drips into on the men of uh, people's bodies, so people surprised and screaming. Good, good. Serious. People start, started screaming. They were surprised. They started screaming. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. And what happens? What What happens when he comes back to his parents? There are no ice cream. There are only sticks left. Good. There are only sticks left. There are no ice creams. The ice creams have melted. Yeah, the ice creams yeah. have melted. Fantastic. Even though he waited, I think he waited a long time in a long queue for those ice creams and they all melted in the end. OK, keep going. You've still got a couple of minutes left. Jung, I want you to yeah. keep going on to the next one. What can you see here? Do you remember this word? What do we say for this? Uh, smash. Uh, the girl is smack, smack, smack on a uh, smack baby on the bum. Yeah, on the bum. Bum is a very soft, soft word for you know, your ass, yeah. your bum. But yeah, she smacks him on the bum. Good. Yes. And his father is also smack. He's on the bum. Smacking then. He is also smacking yeah. him on the bum. If you're going to say is, yeah, he is also smacking him on the bum. Good. Yeah. yeah. Or he also smacks in presence. And... Good. What about the teacher? Yeah. yeah. Also, his teacher is smacking on the bum, smacking his. Uh, on the bum. Good, yeah. He's hitting him with a stick on the bum. Good. Yeah. Smack is usually with the hand, being honest. It is usually like that. Okay, what happens when he goes to the cinema? He's watching the actor smacking someone's jaw. Good, good. Yeah, we do. Uh, not on the bum. On the bum is here. On the bum is only uh, wild. Yeah. yeah he, he, we often say punch here. We do often say punch when it's like a boxer. Yeah, and so he's he's watching somebody punch another man, hit another man. Good. What about in church? In church, uh, um, the man, um, the man show, the man telling tell the man is telling to the boy that if he do something bad, then he will go to the hell. Very good. If he does, if he does something bad, he will go yeah. to hell. Excellent. And what do you call this man? Do you know what you call him? It begins with a P. Uh, pre uh, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot. Oh, I thought you heard, I heard you say it there. Priest. Priest. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Priest. Son, yeah? The priest told him that if he does something bad, he will go to hell. Excellent. What about yeah. in the factory? In the factory, the old, the old man is... Uh, Pick and um picking the the young the short short term man's ear and punishing him. Good, he's punishing him. He's grabbing him by the ear. I think we all very often say grab something like this. He grabbed him by the ear or by the shoulder. Yeah, grab somebody by. We say mm -hmm. he's grabbed him by the ear or yeah. he's grabbed him by the shoulder. Yeah, keep going. Fantastic. Yeah. What, you, what about the, the next one? The the old man is watch watching some posters on the wall. Good, yeah. He's he's looking at some posters on the wall. I wouldn't say watch for a poster. He's looking at some posters on the wall. Yeah, we don't yeah. used to say look at them. Okay. What about when he goes to the army? Um, the the chef army man is 
kicking uh his uh, his um, his uh employee's hip uh not hip here yeah. i would say bum <laughs> again actually i would oh. say bum <laughs> Um, he's kicking him up the bum. Yeah, uh, we often say yeah. kick when it's with your foot. Yeah, to kick. And so the I, I would call him the sergeant or the the general. Yeah, I I think sergeant is very often. Um, very it's good. a it's a rank in the army. It's a higher rank than the bottom rank, which is private. Yeah. So the sergeant is kicking the private. Yeah, we often say private for the lowest person in the mm -hmm. army. It's the lowest rank, the right. very, very, the bottom rank at the bottom. And so the sergeant is kicking the private up the bum. And I agree, it's a strange word for a soldier, but we do say a private for the lowest soldier. Okay. Excellent. Okay, what do you see in this picture? The, the man on the left side is uh, threatening the man on the right side. Fantastic. Really good. Really good. He's threatening to punch him. Very good. He's yeah. threatening him. Yeah, excellent. And what about in the last picture? The uh, and over the time he killed the man on the right side. So the police officer is punishing him. He's punishing him. He's grabbing him. He's arresting yeah. him. Certainly, we often say arrest here. Certainly, he's arresting right. him. Yeah. Fantastic. And look, can you see all the people who are watching? Yes. You see, it's, um, the, it's, the, it's the factory owner. Mm. Yeah, everybody who was violent to him at the end, yeah. they're watching him yeah, get arrested and say, ah, bad boy, bad behavior. That was yeah. fantastic, Jung. That was really, really good. Please come back next mm -hmm. week. Um, I don't know about yeah. next week, actually. I might not be here next week, or I might be here only on Monday and Tuesday because I'm going on holiday. Um, but yeah. please come along, keep an eye on the grammar shed and keep an eye on your emails. Make sure that info at skypelessons.com is, uh, is, is, gets through to your mail. Make sure it's not in going into the junk mail. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Well, we'll see you again. That was really good. Let's go on to, hey, Marl. Hey, Marl, are you there? Can you hear us? Yeah, brilliant. Have you chosen a picture? Yeah, yes. Which one would you like to do? do? Hi, do. Hello. So which, which uh, one? I will simply go to the next. Okay, group. fantastic. Yeah, why not? What can yeah, you do? The next one, simply I will go to the next one. Yeah, okay. I will go to the next one. Yeah, let's try the this next one. one. The, the next one. Okay. Yes. Yeah, they, they were, yeah. Before that, I, I, I would like to ask a question. Uh -huh. um, uh, that uh, you uh, that we said that uh, we are. Sorry, you're not yeah, coming through uh, very clearly at the moment. Hello. Yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, they, uh, can I can I ask a question? Uh huh. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm yeah, here. It's not a game. We have to a chess game like that. Can we uh, say, uh, I, I have observed that some people uh, say that uh, we, I am down to a chess game. Oh, I am down. Okay, can you hear me now? A little bit, yeah, but it seems to kind of come and then go and then come and then go. The connection's not so great. What's your question? Yeah, maybe uh, now? Okay, yeah. What's your question? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, but we say that uh, I, am up, I, I am up to a chess game, that uh, then uh, I am down for a chess game, that both are similar? Okay, I am down for a chess game is, is good. Yeah, I played chess last night and I beat someone who I never beat. But I am down for a chess game is correct. Certainly, yeah, I am down for a chess game. I would like a chess game. To be down for something means that your name is down on the list. That's what it really means. And so when you say, I am down for a chess game, you mean, I want a chess game. I've put my name down on the list. It's like signing up. Signing up. Signed yeah. up for a chess game? Yeah. Sign up is like register. I would say sign up is exactly yeah, the yeah. same as register. And so if somebody signs yeah. up to my website, they give my give me their email, basically. They sign up to the, the waiting list or the email list. So. 
So, okay, uh, they were walking, walking down the path and walking up the path. Is but that the both sign. similar? Yes, the same. They're exactly the same. They may sound like opposites, but they're not opposites. You walk down the street, no. you walk up the street, you walk down the path, you walk up the path. They're all the same. Up or down. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I tend to thought that that when we say you up the road, that means some it is an elevated road, something like that. No, 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 it doesn't. And I I understand your logic, but actually, it's not clear. Walk up or down or along the street, they're all the same. They're all the same. All three of those. Walk up the street, walk down the street, walk along the street. I don't really okay. understand any difference between. So they, they, are, they, are, they are just complete that uh, that proposition just complementing the verb, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You wouldn't say walk the well. You can say walk the streets. Uh, you can actually, but um, when you mean go on one street at one time, you would say walk up the street or walk down the street. You'd need a preposition. You wouldn't usually say he walked the street. You wouldn't usually do it without a preposition. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, it is possible because we do say somebody walks the streets. Um, we do say that sometimes, and that usually means that a person doesn't have a home. They're homeless. They walk the streets. Yeah, and so it, that is possible. But notice we put an it's plural. It's slightly different from walk along the street, walk up the street, walk down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one more question, Dave. Uh, that uh, can we can we say uh, through the corridor? No, uh, down the corridor, along the corridor, even up the corridor, but not through the corridor. Yeah, but, uh, I, but I thought that there was a question in your advanced grammar course too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I selected this one that uh, through the corridor, but, but I, uh, what I thought was because in a corridor you have two walls uh, either side of you and maybe yeah, a roof. I do understand your logic, but no, we wouldn't. Uh, we'd say through the forest, through the field, you know, we do say through for when there's two things out on both sides. And so if there are trees on both sides, yeah, through the forest, through the woods. But we don't say through the corridor. Through sounds like going, you know, through the wall. We do say through the wall if somebody tunnels through the wall or uh, something like that. Yeah, but we, we wouldn't say through the corridor. Yeah, OK. Yeah. OK. OK. So what can you see in the first picture? Yeah, uh, I can see a crying uh, baby uh, with uh, his uh, mother and uh, he's uh, going to have his uh, meal and uh, it seems like he uh, rejects his uh, meal and uh, she tries to uh, get it down his throat. I wouldn't say rejects his meal. It's very close. It's very close. But I would say he refuses to eat. Refuses. He refuses to eat. Yeah, it sounds a little bit closer to me. Reject is usually for, maybe it's in a romance when somebody rejects another person. They say no to that person. They don't want to be with that person. It's maybe used like that sometimes. But very often a reject, when you're talking about a factory, it's a product in the factory which is not good which doesn't work for some kind of reason so it's... yeah uh, then uh, yeah, she she tries to uh, uh, learn him to eat it that uh, saying uh, it is very uh, delicious food good and he's still... like yeah good yeah, he, he has uh, he has uh, covered he has covered his mouth and still uh, refusing to uh, eat the food Excellent. and uh, in the uh, next picture, the boy is sulked and uh, mother uh, is worrying his hands, uh, her hand, her hand on her face uh, in a uh, worrying look. Good, and, yeah. uh, she's she's in... stroking his head, stroking. I think I can say here. She strokes his yeah, head. Stroking his head, yeah. Yep. Uh, and uh, now she uh, takes the meal away and boy uh, smiles happily Good. at last he got uh, rid of it Good. and uh, she has put it uh, to a dog outside and uh, and uh, call the dog uh, to eat the meal and uh, she goes back to home and the goes dog uh, comes... remember no to with home she goes back home yeah not go back to home go back to the station yeah. go back to the shops go back to anywhere else but home is an exception she goes back home yeah, okay. She goes back home and the dog, the dog comes and uh, sniffs the meal. Good. 
and uh, even the dog uh, finds it uh, un, uh, no, no appetite in that <laughs> food even we're the... looking for unpalatable yeah. i think yeah even the dog finds it yeah. unpalatable it's a great word uh, and uh, yeah uh, uh, a, a lanky guy walks uh, uh, walks along the fence and he uh, sees right this meal he walks he walks over the fence that's over definitely that one will be over he walks over the fence he jumps over the fence yeah. he climbs over the fence always over for that <laughs> yeah i i was actually uh, describing the previous one oh okay so he's walking along the street yeah then he's along yeah, yeah. not not along the fence yeah otherwise it sounds like he's on walking along the fence it sounds like he's on the fence if you say walking along the fence But he's walking along okay. the path the pavement yeah, okay okay uh yeah he ju- yeah he jumps over he come he jumps over the uh, fence and uh, comes and uh, takes the uh, plate and uh, i think he is a poor guy uh, a lanky guy bony guy and uh, he uh, i think he uh, must have uh, uh, and uh, any meal for several days and he, he finds this meal very uh, delicious good you can't see uh, very delicious unfortunately absolutely delicious he finds the meal yeah. absolutely delicious just because it's a strong adjective delicious you say very tasty but absolutely delicious yeah absolutely yeah, delicious yes excellent and yeah you can say of course the guy looks homeless and so you can say he walks the streets that we we saw up here yeah he, he walks yeah, yeah, yeah. the streets this guy um it looks like he's ho- a homeless guy who walks the streets and so yeah he finds the meal absolutely delicious yeah fantastic okay really really good hey mal that was brilliant let's move on now to sneha sneha okay, are you there you, yeah hi dev hi how are you Hello. very good thanks very good how are you you good yeah i'm fine yeah it's all floods here sorry you flood floods 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 wow has it been a, a very uh, raining then for the last few days yeah, yeah. yeah it's been raining yeah heavy okay. rain and so yeah. is it is it difficult to get around the town yeah these days there is, there is no net no internet no phone connections also no signals but how are you doing this class <laughs> Uh, huh, yeah only only today the connection has uh, resumed okay i see but for many days there was no internet nothing yeah yeah <laughs> so, okay yeah okay uh, Wh- yeah. which ones would you like to do do you want to just do the next one or have you chosen another? 156 it's it's one in page 156 in the book in the book okay 156 153 this one yep yeah? Yep, yeah, fantastic. So what okay. can you see in the first picture? So there is a fat guy and he he has come to a painter and uh, the painter is holding a planchet. Um planchet. Uh, <laughs> my wife says planchet. Uh I don't usually say that. Um he, the, he's he's holding you mean his paints, yeah, his paints. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's holding his paints. paints. My wife is okay. a painter and she, so she says planchet for also for the electronic thing we have that she uses to draw but yeah his paints uh, i would say he's holding his paints i'm not sure how okay. i'm not actually sure i only know for <laughs> shit um but yeah he's holding some paints is it an easel okay. something like that I'll, i'll look yeah. it up right i will look it up <laughs> but yeah. keep going keep going <laughs> yeah and the painter shows a picture in that the fat man sees uh, lots of fruits lots of fruit fruit oh. is very strange it's uncountable um and i agree that that's strange but we don't usually say fruits we usually say fruit it, a painting with a lot of fruit different kinds of uh, perfect fruit. yeah painting with l- different kinds of fruit you can say different kinds of fruit certainly and that might be surprising because it's uncountable um but yeah you can with different kinds of fruit different types of fruit so uh, regardless of the context it is only fruit yes uh, don't don't say fruits um it's you know when we with a shop that sells fruit and vegetables notice we say vegetables but we don't say fruit we we don't say fruit with an s we say fruit and vegetables it's really illogical you know it's like why are sheep 
uncountable in English. Why do we say one sheep, two sheep, three sheep? Why not sheeps? But we don't. We just don't. And the same with fruit. You know, sheep are very countable. You can count sheep. We count sheep when we can't sleep. Um, nonetheless, they're uncountable. Then why do we have yes for fruits? I don't know. Why do we have, uh, sorry? Yes, yes. Plurality. Yes, the fruits. We, we don't usually say fruits. I, I would say just don't say fruits. It's uncountable. Um, most of the time in everyday English, it's uncountable. Just like hair, you know, it's always hair, even though I know in a lot of other languages it will be hairs, but we don't, we, we treat it as one thing, your hair, as though it's just sitting there and not made up of lots of little hairs. And we do just say fruit, we really do. You won't hear fruits very often, very, very rarely. Um, I can think of a couple of situations where maybe you would say fruits, but it's very, very rare. Most of the time, it's uncountable. It's really strange. It is. I, you know, I agree that it's totally illogical. There's no reason why it should be uncountable, but it is uncountable. <laughs> okay. okay. Even in the next picture, the man sees something that uh, edible, that is edible. Good. That is edible. Excellent. Uh, and the man starts drooling Good. by looking at the pictures. <laughs> Excellent. So the pictures, maybe they have triggered his appetite. Good. And the man is unable to control, even in the next picture, he sees a meat, maybe some meat, some kind of meat and uh, yeah, what of, of, uh, roast pork or roast beef. Good. Yeah. So the man uh, grows uh, I mean, restless and he wants to get out and uh, maybe his appetite is uh, increasing. Good, yeah. With every picture that he sees, yeah, and and the man is unable to control his feeling for uh, that. I mean, food. Good. Uh, so he immediately runs out of the room, maybe, and he calls a taxi. He hires a taxi, maybe, calls and taxi. calls a taxi. So, hires a taxi. Yeah. So uh, he goes straight to a restaurant. And places his order. Is it okay to say place an order or uh, order directly? It's fine. He places his order. That's great. It's very, very natural English. Yeah, he goes to the restaurant and places his order. That's great. Super. Okay. No, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much the end of that one. Do you have another one that you've chosen? The next one. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah. yeah. Now we see a painter at his easel, sitting at his easel, Good. painting yeah. something. That's it. I think it is easel. Easel is the, the big thing, isn't it? I don't, know. I don't know artist terms. I really don't. But yeah, easel. Good. That's this. I think that's this thing. I still yeah. don't know the paints, what we say for that. Some I know that English people in the audience will be thinking this is easy, the, the thing which they... I just don't know what it's called. <laughs> don't have that I, in my vocabulary. I saw it in a game. It says it's some planchet. That's why I used the word. I'm going to, I'm going to, maybe you've got the right one. <laughs> you know, I've always considered it a, a Russian word just because it's what my wife says. Um, but, uh, planchette. Oh. No, it says here, a flat disc of metal for stamping a coin, planchette. I don't think it's a planchette. Coin planchettes, they say. Uh, oh, no, no, you're, you're, it is, you're right. You're right. It's just slightly different spelling. <laughs> it's planchette. A little prank here uh, for, for paints. Yeah, I think. <laughs> actually no no maybe not maybe not maybe i'm wrong <laughs> i will look it up i'm going to ask my wife after this class she'll probably know it she probably knows what we say hey uh, the spelling is c-h-e-t-t-e yeah that's the one which i'm looking at at the moment um i mean oh, okay. uh, uh, it, uh, it looks slightly different to no, I'll, I'll show you. I'm looking at it on Wikipedia. I'll show you on the, um, where, where were the notes? There's a chat. Yeah. Um, this one here. So I am looking at the one which is spelled like a French word with E double T E at the end. Um, yeah. but it, it says wood paddle used in spiritualist activities, um, like for talking with ghosts and that kind of thing, like a Ouija board or something like that. So I don't think it's fun shit, but I will, I will look it up. I should know it, shame on me, but I just, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, 
yeah, I'm on a I'm on an artist page to try and find. I will look for it after the class, though. Otherwise, I, I won't be able to find oh. it. But I will look oh. for, find it for you. What they call those paints? <laughs> you know, I just normally say the artist paints. But okay, Irina, do you know the answer? Yeah, Irina. <laughs> I say for this planchette too. <laughs> yeah, you also think I think the, yeah? I, re, I think this planchette. <laughs> Yeah, I understand. That's, that, so this word is obviously quite widespread for uh, an artist paints, but um, I, yeah, I really don't know, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe, no, not canvas. That's what they draw on, but it will be on this page somewhere, I'm sure, because this is artists' terms. But uh, and so we, I'll look for plunge. Oh, palette, palette. That's what it is. Palette. palette. Ah, yeah. <laughs> A surface on which an artist mixes colours. Palette, of course it is, palette. <laughs> um, so yeah, like this, let me get that one point. <laughs> there we go, we've got the whole um, thing. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what we call his paints. It's a palette, uh, the, the, where he mixes his paints. <laughs> okay, so keep okay. going. Yeah. So yeah, he's got, he's got his easel, he's got his canvas, he's got his palette. Yeah, we've got our word. Yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, maybe he shows the picture to his family. Good. Ben. He's very proud of himself. Yeah, he looks proud of yeah. himself. <laughs> and now with that pride, he goes to a mirror and he sees himself in that. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, he finds himself not so very attractive. Can Mirror? we say attract for yeah. men? You can. Yeah, you can. He, he thinks he's looking unattractive. Yeah. yeah, I think so we he... for both we do. I mean, in the olden, in the old times, they used to use beautiful for men and women. Many, many years ago, oh. they did. And they'd use handsome for women sometimes as well, many years ago. But I agree, nowadays, beautiful for women uh, and, and pretty for women and handsome for men. Yeah, okay. Mm. And then he now, so um, with that feeling, he goes out and he wants to buy something. Uh-huh. Like his jacket. Can we call it a jacket or a coat? Yeah, I would say a sweater for that. I think it looks like a sweater, but it might be a jacket. A, a jacket usually uh, has a zip, and so you can undo a jacket yeah. and do up a jacket usually. But uh, I think that's more like a jumper, a sweater. Oh, which is American? The sweater is American or? I would say both are uh, used in the UK, certainly sweater or, or uh, jumper. I think jumper is more common in the UK. I do think oh. jumper is more more often used, but sweater, mm. everyone will understand sweater, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he buys it and goes back to home and goes back home. Yeah. Good. Yes. Never yeah. to with home. Home is an exception. I heard, I heard an idiom at home. At home Medium. is correct, yeah, at home is good. Um, you can't say to home, but you can say at home, certainly. It, we say it all the time. When somebody is at home, they're not outside, they're, they're at home. And so, yeah, at, at home is very common. It's a good phrase to use. I just mean you never use to home. To home is always wrong. Yeah, it's always incorrect, to home. Yeah. Uh, he's at home at mathematics or something. They say uh, it's an idiom, I think. At yeah. home. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say it's an idiom. I would say it's a very common prepositional phrase. Very, very common. At home just means not outside, not on the street, but at home. So I'm at home at the moment, and my wife's at home. My children aren't at home. They're at school. Yeah, and so at school. Uh, I mean, I mean, when they mean uh, the the person is proficient in some subject or something else. Like uh, okay. my friend is at home. Yeah. Yeah. You. You. It is used idiomatically. Sorry. Yeah. You're right. He is at home with mathematics, or he's at home with. You do. It's not very, very common, but yeah, people do say that, meaning they're familiar with mathematics, or even more than that. It's yeah. They they feel very comfortable with that topic. Oh yeah. What is this exact sentence? At home, at something, or with at something? Home with something, it would be yeah. With, he, and I would say usually it's with feel as well. He feels at home with something. Um, it, as I say, not everyone would say that. It depends on the person, but uh, depending on who your audience is, um, some people might use that expression, but I don't think it's extremely common. Okay. Okay, it is good though. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I understand it. He feels at home with mathematics, means he's very comfortable with mathematics. He can handle mathematics. He's a good student. Okay. Okay. 
So, audience is always singular or plural? Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I mean, you might, in a cinema where there's six different screens, you might say we have six different audiences, maybe. But it's rare that you see audiences, because usually there's only one audience, and it's all the people yeah. watching. Yeah, but I can oh. imagine in a cinema, if there are different screens, okay, you have a different audience in each auditorium. And so you might oh. then say we have different audiences here, but it's very rare. Most of the time, audience is singular. Okay, thank you. And so he buys it. He goes home. Uh, he trims his. He cuts his hair, Good. maybe to look to look pretty, um, attractive. Maybe yeah, to look handsome, to look attractive. attractive. Good, attractive. But uh, the person, I mean the the his family members don't seem to recognize his him good they don't seem to recognize him because his attire has changed and uh, he's come uh, i mean his uh, his get up has changed completely he's wearing some spectacles and then he's smoking something i mean a pipe good yes yeah, a very strange outfit very strange outfit i agree very I mean, strange yeah. very strange clothes very strange outfit yeah so so maybe he he goes out somewhere. Is it? Am, he, am I correct? I don't know where he is. Yeah, After he goes the... out somewhere. Um, I think he goes to the uh, art gallery. I think it's an art gallery, yeah. something like this. And there, uh, every people seem to look alike. I mean, everybody, they're almost wearing the same dot. One. Good. Everybody or everyone, not every people. Yeah, everybody, everyone. Is wearing the uh, same outfit. Yeah, uh, almost wearing the same dress, same kind of dress. The same uh, clothes, not the same kind of dress. If you say dress, it sounds like a woman's dress. Um, oh. and they're not in dresses, <laughs> um, but they're, they're in the same clothes, the same outfit. Outfit works very well here, just meaning everything that he's wearing. Your outfit is everything, the jacket, the T-shirt, your trousers. And so everybody is wearing the same clothes, the same outfit. Mm -hmm. So dress only refers to women's clothing. It only it only refers to women's clothing. A dress, yeah, oh. and it's it's the one which is the whole. It goes all over a woman's body. A skirt is only the bottom half, but a dress yeah. is everything. It goes over the shoulders. Yeah, it's a, it's why we say an evening dress if it's a very um smart, very um very smart clothes for a wedding, for example, women will very often wear a dress for a wedding. But um, oh. it, it, is, it is also a verb to dress. And I think that that's why people get muddled up. It is also a verb as well as a noun. Um, you can say the mother dresses her child, something like that, meaning that she helps the child put on the clothes. She dresses the child. Um, so it can be used like that as a verb, meaning to put clothes on somebody. Um, so usually mothers dress children. Um, oh. uh, it's yeah, it's not a very common verb. You, we usually say get dressed. Yeah, we usually use it after okay. the get to get dressed, um, and that means to put on clothes. That's all it means, just to put on clothes. We we dress wounds also. You do, yeah, very good. You do dress wounds. Very good. It is it, absolutely right. So if somebody is injured and they go to the hospital, then the nurse or the doctor will dress the wound. Yeah, will put a bandage on the wound. Yeah. They will dress the wounds. Okay. okay. Yeah, and notice it is very similar to put clothes on somebody. It's put a bandage on somebody, yeah? When you dress a wound, you normally wrap a bandage around yeah. the wound. And so you really, you are dressing somebody. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Okay, excellent. Very good for today, guys. That was fantastic. I really enjoy these live classes. Always good fun. So I will probably do one on Monday next week, I'm guessing, but I'm not sure. But I will send everybody an email. It will hopefully come in an email anyway. And I'll warn you all, certainly, probably tomorrow. Or, or maybe okay. Saturday. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, see you later yeah. then, guys. Thanks bye, for coming. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.